Hello Year One, welcome to Tuesday's English. Uh, so today we're thinking about our poster again. So we, like I said yesterday, we're starting the new unit and we're going to be creating a poster this week. So yesterday you did a really great job of designing what your poster is going to look like. So today we're going to be planning our poster content. That means we're going to be planning what's going to go on it. We're not making our poster yet. We're going to do that towards the end of the week. Uh, today we're just thinking about what's going to go on it. So we're going to start to think about that, that anyway. So let's think about our thinking box of success again. So remember our purpose of our poster is to inform, to give some information about something and our audience is whoever you might like to choose. The key features that we needed to make sure we included in our design and that will include in our actual poster is a title, pictures and information. And the grammar when we come to writing, we're gonna make sure we've got all our full stops, our finger spaces and our capital letters in all the correct places, okay? So today you need to choose what animal your poster is going to be about. So if you've got a pet, you might like to do it about your pet. And if you haven't, you can choose any animal. And uh, once you've decided what you need, to, what you want to do, we need to decide what we're going to include on our poster. So on class day, I've put some examples of some um, posters about how to look after a pet. And you might like to use those, especially if you've not got a pet, you might like to have a look at those to decide which animal you like to do. And even if you have got a pet, you still might like to have a look. You don't have to choose your pet if you have got one, but it might be easier. It's completely up to you. So I don't have a pet at the moment. I've had a pet before, so I could think about uh, the pet I've had before, or I could think about using one of the um, examples from class, uh, from that are on Class Dojo. So here's some pictures of them, but you can, uh, there's a couple more on Class Dojo as well. So I've got taking care of a dog, taking care of a cat, um, taking care of fish and taking care of a rabbit. And I think there are a couple more on the document on Class Dojo. So you might like to have a look at these to decide what animal you'd like to do it about, or you might like to choose your own animal if you've got one. Okay, so I'm thinking I'm going to do taking care of a dog because I've had a dog in the past, so I think I know about that and I also can look at this one here to give me some information okay so you might just look at them today to just decide what pet you'd like to do so I have chosen this layout for my poster you saw me yesterday planning my poster didn't you, you saw that I had my title my subheading my information boxes and same down here and then some pictures at the bottom okay so I need to decide what I'm going to what my title is going to be and what my subheadings are going to be you know, if you haven't chosen to use subheadings, that's okay, but you need to think about what you want to write about. Okay, so it might be that you choose, you might write some subheadings, but you don't actually put on your poster if you're not doing them on your poster, but just to help you decide what your information is going to be about, because tomorrow you need to find out what you're actually going to include on your poster. So you might like to think of some subheadings or some questions, even if you don't include them on your poster, okay? So title, you can choose what your title is going to be. The titles of these ones are taking care of something, so whatever animal it is. And I'm thinking that my title is going to be how to take care of a dog, okay? So I'm going to write that in my box here. In fact, I'm not going to write it in my box here. I'm going to write it underneath this word title because you're going to write this in your English book. Okay, so you're not doing this on your poster yet, you're just planning in your English books, so you're just writing on the lines that you normally would. So the, the plan that you did yesterday, leave that, you're not making your poster yet, just thinking about what you're going to write. So the title that I decided, like I just said, is how to take care of a dog. So you might like to write title, and then underneath you can write how to take care of a dog. That's my title. Now you might like a different title. You might like to choose one of the titles from these example posters, or you might like to use the uh, title that I have used, okay? So I've made sure that I've got my capital letter, my finger space, and my full stop at the end. Remember, this is my plan. So I'm not going to, this isn't my final piece, but I still want to make sure that I've got my capital letters, full stops, and finger spaces every time I write, okay? Then I need to think about what two pieces of information I want to include. So if you haven't got subheadings, like I said, you still need to think about what information you want to include. So you might write some subheadings for now or some questions. So my two subheadings that I've thought of are actually questions. 
like we did with our Grace Darling report, okay? So you need to decide what um, information you want to include. So the first thing that I want to talk about is what does a dog need, okay? So if I'm thinking about, this is for somebody who's not had a dog before, I'm thinking about getting one and they want to find out some information, they might really like to know what a dog needs because that would be a really important place to start with. So my first question is going to be, what does a dog need? So the word what is a tricky word, isn't it? It's one of our tricky words that we practice in our phonics. So we've got the what, what, what sign and then it sounds like it should be oh, it's actually A-T. So what, okay, let me make sure I've got my finger space, does, again, is a tricky word to spell. Oops. What does a dog, what we know we can all spell dog, need? Nice easy one. And it's a question. So do I need a full stop? I need a question mark. Didn't I? So in fact, I'm going to go and add question marks to our Thinky Boxes to success in case you're going to include some questions. You might not, but if you do, you need to make sure that we're using them correctly. Okay. I'm going to go back to my um, poster. Where have I got it? Here I am. Okay, so what does a dog need? That would be my first subheading that I'm going to put in here. And then my second one, I'm thinking about what could I use? I had a look at the little posters that I've shown the examples, and I've decided that my second question is how to keep my dog healthy, or how do I keep a dog healthy? Okay, so again, I'm going to use a big uh, capital letter. I'm going to sound out the word how nice and easy. How, how, uh, how do you keep a dog healthy? A tricky one to spell. And I'm going to use my question mark again. So, uh, how do I keep? How do you keep a dog healthy? So, the information that I have written today, year one, is my title, how to take care of a dog, and my two questions that are for my subheadings. So, even if you don't have subheadings on your poster, you still need to think about what your questions or what your um, information is going to be about. So, you still write them, even if you don't include them on your poster, but I am going to include them on my poster. So, if you went for um, the one that's like this, the information that you're going to have will still answer the questions, won't it? So, you still need to think about what you're going to write, but otherwise, you would be there all day trying to think of what you're going to put. So, you need to have some questions to narrow your focus. And then you know exactly uh, what you're going to write about when you come to doing it. So let me find my piece of paper. It is. So in your English books today, you're going to have the title and you're going to have the different bits of information that you want to research or find out about. Okay, so mine are what does a dog need and how do you keep a dog healthy? So it might be that you have two questions, you might have three, probably two to fit it all on your poster. Um, and don't get your title as well. So probably three bits of information, so three separate sentences written down today. And then tomorrow, we're going to find out the answers to those and write those into some sentences, okay? So you don't need to answer them today. We're going to come to that tomorrow. So all I want to see is your title and what information you're going to include, what you want to find out about, okay? So I really look forward to reading what, your, what animal you've chosen for a start and then what your title is going to be and what your subheadings are going to be. And then tomorrow we can write down what the answers to those questions are, okay? So well done today, year one. I look forward to seeing you to carry on with our poster tomorrow. Bye, everyone.